Paul and the Hen. This is a story where Paul makes a short appearance and the hen wishes it hadn't. Doesn't sound good for the hen, does it? Don't worry, this family doesn't eat meat so it's not one of those types of stories. Don and her sister-in-law left on their two-hour trip, returning seven hours later. With a big white brooding hen, India was overwhelmed at this sight so when to cuddle it, the next thing you know it's under the shed. Well, we think why not poke it with a stick. Now the hen is wedged, so we get the garden hose, that will get it out. Now we have a wet wedged hen. We decide to send our dog under the shed to get the hen out. Now we have a wet wedged traumatized white brooding hen under our shed, minus a few feathers, which the dog now has. So how do we get this hen from under the shed? You mean the big white brooding wet wedged and traumatized hen, minus a few feathers from under the shed? We don't know. Well Paul has heard all the commotion and so comes out to see what is going on, he is eventually told, my goodness me he says walking off, returning with a great long pole. He sticks this great long pole under the shed and picks the whole thing up, the hen is rescued. That is what you must do if you have a wet wedge traumatized hen, minus a few feathers, stuck underneath your shed. Sorry, to the hen, 